What is good friends, back with game 2 between Trix and Sakri. So looking at the teams, there's a team that Blanda used in Smogon 2 with Megalady, Spadef, Spikes, Leech, Cheat, Knockoff, Power Whip, Ferrosaurn, Scarf, Landris, I think Shift Gear, Z-Move, Megina, T-Wave, Command, Clef, and Rocks, Bulky, Trend with Toxic, Madness, Storm. I don't remember if the last move is Taunt or Earth, Power. Then uh, Sakri brings a Zardwai team that kick as I brought the other day versus Semiotic. I'm pretty sure we had the exact same matchup the other day. It's a bulky Spadev drill. Uh, also, we do see turn 1 that pressure goes before Landris Intimidate, which means that this is most likely a Scarf Weavile. Uh, I think I remember that it's Scarf from last day's match, Semiotic and kick as uh, where Weavile never showed an item and it was really weak, so it wasn't banded either and also wasn't Z-Move. So Twix could scout um, by going Heatran here, because going Heatran covers we while staying in go go for Icicle Crash, and it also covers the Zard Y double. But he does just sack Landris, um, not knowing that the Weavile is Scarf, which means he just didn't pay attention to Intimidate versus Pressure, how it works, and he was Scarf Landris definitely. Now he can go into his Heatran here and get up the rocks, but that's a really bad start for Twix. Um, yeah, if the Weavile ever gets trapped, if the Lari ever gets trapped by the Weavile, my bad. Then the Zardwai goes completely in on Twix's team. So Hedron is gonna come out and get the rocks up. Uh, Sakri's play here is probably the Slowbro or his Zard, one of the two. But yeah, um, turn one, a potential play for Sakri would have been doubling into Zard Y in case Trix wanted to scout for the Ice Cold Crash because it was obvious that he was Scarf because he had pressure on the Weaver. He didn't have Pickpocket. He should definitely have made it a uh, Pickpocket to not give away that he's faster. And um, like. I would have personally gone Heatran in turn 1 because it would have covered the double into Zard. The reason why I would double into Zard if I'm Sakri turn 1 is um, I think we're just going to see a Scald here as he's a bulky toxic turn. He's able to get the Slowbro on a timer. Now Sakri could pull a double here into Heatran because Trick Street is going to switch out into either Clef or Ferrothorn. He could also just Scald again and play it safe. But I think double into Tren here is definitely a good play catching the Ferrothorn or the Clef because one of the two is going to come out knowing that they can deal with the Slowbro. Uh, let's just call again, fishing for the burn. Now Twix is probably gonna go for knockoff or spikes here. Most likely knockoff, um, trying to get rid of an item. Because it's unlikely that Sakri is gonna go Zard as long as rocks are up, right? So the rocks are definitely amazing for Twix in this scenario. Now, um, he's gonna have to switch into Ladi. He doesn't really have another switch in. So potential play for Sakri here is doubling into Weavile. Uh, but since the Weavile is Scarf and not Bandit, um, there will be some 50-50 mind games if he makes that play. So I guess he just wants to chip on the Ladi first. So if this Ladi is Draco, he should go for it, but I'm pretty sure it's just Psychic, Ice Beam, Earthquake, Recover, or uh, Roost Ladi. Um, well, Earthquake is the most likely place, he does go for that. Um, Draco and Ladi should be used more because it can barb Greninjas, it can barb Weavels after rocks. It can also hit stuff like Slowbro, it can also hit... Um, that was another mon that I forgot about, that people think they can bring it in on Ladi, but Draco destroys it. Outside of Gwen Weaver and Slowbro, there was something else, but I can't remember at the moment. Now, um, Trix is probably gonna stay in, because if he can get this play right, stay in on a Pursuit. Uh, Pursuit will not kill if Ladi stays in, because it's a Scarf and not Bandit Weaver. If he can get that play right, he can keep the Ladi around, and he probably just went for Earthquake to pick off the Weaver. Um, I get Sagri's play, because he just wanted to bring this Ladi low. Now he's gonna go Drill and he should just Earthquake with the Drill here because Twix has no good Earthquake switch in. Also, if he Rapid Spins here, I mean Rapid Spin is also a potential play but I think Earthquake is better. Just in case Twix Tree stays in and you get rid of the Ladi. Because otherwise the Ladi can potentially heal later on in the game. It can heal on the Slowbro, it can potentially heal on the Tren or on the Bulu. And if Ladi heals then Zatwa is not a big threat as it is otherwise. So yeah, I agree with Earthquake in there. As both players Earthquake. Now we can see Clefable or Pharaoh come out, most likely Clefable. And he kinda has to go for a win with his common T-Wave Clefable. Uh, if he can keep rocks on the field would be amazing, but obviously if he goes Clef or Pharaoh here, that will allow the Excadrill to rapid spin them away. Yeah, I don't think he can keep the rocks on the field. So he probably just wants to go Pharaoh here, um, Fer uh, not Pharaoh, Clef here and set up a calm mind. Also Megina, um, I don't remember the Megina set, I think it was Ferium Z, which um, if he can keep rocks on the field can win, but he's not going to be able to keep rocks on the field because, like I said, he has to go into either Clef or Pharaoh here because Megina and Tren both get bobbed by Quake. Uh, unless the Tren is fast, but I think this drill runs some sort of speed and is definitely faster than bulky Tren. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say, turn 1, I understand. I completely understand Sakri's play of Icicle Crashing in case Trix stayed in. I think we're going to see a comment here from Trix, but um, double into Zard was a potential play. It was unlikely, but it was a potential play because it covered Trix um, scouting for Icicle Crash. And Zardwai would have covered the Pharaoh, um, the Megina, and the Clef, and it also would have kind of covered the Tren. 
um, which all would have potentially came out turn one on Icicle Crash. Like Clef, Megina, Pharaoh, Tran, they can all scout for the Scarf Icicle Crash. That's why I would have doubled into Zard if. Like, that was a potential play. I'm not saying that he had to make the play, his Icicle Crash play worked out for him, but it was an option. But yeah, we see this reminds me of Auras. Um, Command Clefable beating Heatran after Heatran doesn't have leftovers. He was able to knock the Heatran off with the Pharaoh early on the game. And he gets some special attack drops with Moonblast and Madness Storm doesn't always hit. And yeah, Tren loses 1v1 to this Clefable. Taunt is still good for um, Sakri to keep this Clef in check somewhat. So what he has to do here, um, his Tren is going to go down to the next Moonblast. And afterwards, um, Zad cannot beat this because of the command boost. So he has to go into his Bulu, which is a Spadef SD variant. So he has to go Bulu SD up and then Hornleech should be able to potentially 2 hit KO the Clef. That's his only play. And uh, Moonblast does not 2 hit KO the Bulu because of leftovers, grassy terrain and also Hornleech giving Bulu health back. Um, if this is bulk up, this is bad for Sakri, but if I recall correctly, it's a bulky Spadef SD variant. With SD Hornleech, Superpower and Protect. So Moonblast doesn't do that much. So he's really... Well, actually this is kind of a potential Superpower play. Like it's Hornleech versus Superpower. Because uh, Trickstreet knows that it's not in his best interest to stay in there. Sakri predicts the switch and the Hedron goes for Superpower. Yeah, I mean, yeah, staying in there with Clef was not, as, not in his best interest. So really good play there on Sakri, Superpowering the trend on the switch. Shifting momentum in his favor again, and with rocks on the field, um, Zard should be able to deal with Megiana. And now Trix has to go into Megiana, I think, to threaten out the Bulu. Sakri might just go for Hornleech, um, just to get more health back. Because if he goes for superpower, he will lower his, his attack. So I think Hornleeching and superpowering later is definitely the play. Like Hornleeching first, superpowering after. Because Hornleech gives you health back, you have leftovers in grassy terrain. Which means you can probably take a hit um, from the Megina with ease. So Ice Beam does 55. I don't remember, I didn't remember if this Megina had Ice Beam. Maybe Trix rechanged the set. I thought it was uh, the Z Fleur can with um, either Focus Blast or T-Bolt. But apparently it's Ice Beam now. So now you can superpower after um, bringing this in range. Yep, Honlich would not have killed, but Honlich was able to heal the Bulu back, making it um, take the Ice Beam. And now, um, does he comment? Yeah, he does comment. So Honlich shouldn't do that much, it should do 50 to 60 because there's no grassy terrain. And um, this is actually kind of scary because it is, yeah, it is T-Wave Clef, wow. So this Clef still has a shot to win because the Drill does not have Iron Head, which means uh, it cannot beat it. That's also why he switched out of the Drill earlier was the Clef. The drill is a Rocks Rapid Spin Earthquake Toxic variant. And Zard obviously can't beat the Clef either because it's commanded up. So if Trix. Trix, Trix might just be able to pull it off with the Clef here. Uh, I assume he's just gonna softball it here. And Sakri. Um, Sakri might have to SD again because. Only just only doing 55 at the moment. I guess, I guess if he doesn't get paralyzed, he's fine spamming Horn Leech. Okay, 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 okay. He didn't go for softball. He gets him with Moonblast. Yeah, I guess Moonblast was a fine play if it 2 hit KOs, as it gets a crit right there. Damn. So now Zardwai cannot kill this. Um, I think you either spam softballed. Wait, why did he not spam softballed? Because T Wave got nerfed, which means he's now slower and he just threw the game. He would have won if he just softballed there. He had it won right there. Like, um, I messed up saying that he should have gone for, um, I said he should have gone for soft, I thought it, I thought he would go for softball, but the clef versus the bulu, but he predicted the SD, he moonblasted twice, he got that scenario right, and then, um, the reason why he should have softballed instead of T-waving is because T-wave got nerfed in Gen 7, which means Zard still outspeeds clef after T-wave, but I just said it in chat, you need speedy 40 beast. 40 speed IVs to outspeed it apparently. I didn't know how much speed you need. But yeah, you need some sort of speed on Pharaoh. Like he just said 40 EVs apparently. Damn, so Twix loses a 2 or in round 1 versus Sakri. Um, broken T Wave Command Clef was almost able to do it for him. And it would have done it if he clicked softball right there. Um, outside of Sakri critting him, Clef had the game won. But yeah, I mean, it happens. I'm not gonna like attack him too much. I think this is Trickstreet's first big tour. I mean, I know he played one game in like World Cup qualifier, but I, I don't remember him. I don't remember seeing him in any other big tours. So uh, it was cool that he was able to qual for for ulti. I know him a little bit, so it was definitely cool to see him qual. 
But yeah, I hope he can pull back. He's not out of it yet. He's 0-1 now and Sakri is 1-0. I'll see you guys with more tournament coverage later. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. And peace out, friends.